Hey everyone, it's Paul Royer, and in this video I'll be giving you a brief tutorial on how to make API calls to your Thriftly API using jQuery in the web browser. Now, for this tutorial we will be using the API that we set up in our previous example, so if you haven't done that already, I recommend you check out that video. It's called How to Build a Fast Web API in C Sharp or in Java. We have two separate videos depending on what language you're working with. You can find that through our Thriftly channel or you can just search for it on YouTube and you should be able to find it. We will review it briefly here though, just so we know what we're going to be dealing with on our front end. Um, now remember we set up our string service class and we have two API calls here. We have join that takes two strings and concatenates them. And we have two upper that takes one string and returns the uppercase version of that string. So we're going to go ahead and run our API. We should see our familiar Thriftly developer window pop up here. We're going to leave all of our settings the same uh, from our previous example. HTTP transport. We're going to be using the JSON RPC protocol for our default protocol. Now remember, Thriftly actually serves multiple protocols at the same time but we're going to tell it to use uh, JSON RPC for our default. And then our port, that's if you want to make local calls. So I am going to note that. So maybe I'll do an example with a local call as well as through the gateway. And, and encoding, I'm going to leave as ANSI. You can switch it to UTF-8 if you need that. Um, but most importantly, we need to make sure our gateway is enabled and that you select the gateway nearest to you. So in the United States, I believe we have one in Texas and maybe one other one up right now. Uh, if you're in Japan or Brazil, make sure you select that gateway so you get the best performance possible with the lowest latency. So let's just go ahead and start it. I'm going to hit Start Thriftly. It should load my documentation in my browser here. So here's the information about my endpoint. And then right below that, we have the information about our string service. So this is where we're going to be making our calls to. In fact, this is the address we want, we want right down here. You'll notice that it has the uh, string service at the end of the URL. So let's copy that. And I'm going to paste it over here into my notepad so that I can use that later in our example. Let's click on it just to make sure both of our calls are there and available with the correct parameters. So let's let's build a little example in the web browser to make a call to two upper. We're going to make an Ajax call using jQuery and it takes that string one parameter. So we'll come over here to our text editor. I'm using VS Code and I'm just going to start building this from scratch. So we need a place to put our response. I'm going to use a pre-tag so that it uh, will maintain you know, spaces and new lines and all that stuff. And then I'm going to use a code tag here with an ID of output. Then we also need to bring in uh, jQuery. If we want to use that, we need to import it. So I'm going to use one of the available uh, public library, specifically, oops, Google's library, the Google API library for jQuery version 3.2.1, getting the minified version of it. So we're bringing that in. And then I'm just going to write my uh, call right in line here. Just do it all in one page. So the first thing we need to do is we need to build our request. So in the interest of time, I'll just copy and paste that. A request, a JSON RPC request has all of these uh, necessary properties. So we have a method, we have our parameters, we have an ID, and uh, the JSON RPC. This is where we specify which uh, version, which RPC specification. So that should be 2.0. Our ID will just make some random number, 459. Uh, parameters, I've got string one here, and the value of make me uppercase and then the method we're going to call is two upper so there's our request object now let's make our ajax call and we'll go through all of this so the url that's where we're going to put that address that we copied 
from our documentation this one right so if we go back to our endpoint the string service here again it's this URL right here and there's a convenient little button to copy that for you so let's come back over here to our documentation make sure you paste that here for JSON RPC all calls are of type post and then for our data for this request, we need to make sure that we stringify our request because this up here is a JavaScript object, right? It's going to be expecting a JSON string. So you can use the built-in JSON.stringify to turn that request into a JSON string. We're going to specify the data type of JSON. And we're going to pass both of these headers here, the content type application JSON and the server protocol json rpc this server protocol header right here is specific to thriftly that's something that we implemented so that you can indicate which protocol you're using for that specific api call so again thriftly serves up all of the protocols at the same time so i could tell it that i want xml back it'll give me xml back i can tell it i want thrift it'll give me thrift um, we did set the default to JSON RPC, so I could exclude this and it would assume JSON RPC because that's the default. But I always put it here just in case. If someone accidentally reset the server and changed the default to XML, because I have this header here, I'll still get JSON RPC back because I'm telling the server that's what I want. And then right down here, this last property success, it it's uh, going to be a function call that's going to be called once the call is completed successfully. So it has a response parameter here. All we're going to do is we're going to use a jQuery selector here to select our output ID that's up here in our code tag. And we're going to inject the text that we get back. We're going to stringify it and make it look nice. And we're going to uh, put that right in here. So that's all this does is it selects that ID tag and says, stick this text in that tag. So if it's successful, we should see a response from the server in our browser. So let's save that. And I'm gonna right click on this in uh, VS Code. It gives you the option here to open in browser. And as soon as I opened it, it made that call. This is actually the response right here. You'll see that it did take my string and make it uppercase. It returned my ID back so I, I can match my request with my response and it's working so real quickly just to show you we made that call through our gateway so that call went through the internet it bounced through the gateway proxy bounced back to this laptop and completed the test call but we can also if we want to just do some local calls we can do those at the same time if we want to test locally so i'm going to change the address here to localhost on that port that i copied I'm going to save that, come back over here. I'm going to refresh the page and it still made that call successfully. So that was making a local call. So that's pretty cool. We can test locally or through the internet at the same time from that same server. Now that's a really, really simple example. I do want to show you a little bit more um, fleshed out example of making some calls to this server. So I built this, uh, little example in the interest of time i'm not going to go through it in great detail we will make this code available to you um, we'll probably put a link down in the description but i broke everything out into individual fields and made an area where you can make both test calls uh, and i'll show the request and the response in this example if you look at my script.js here so we have a little bit more advanced Ajax call. Before we send it, we display the request. Um, on success, we display result. On error, we display error. Display error, all it does is changes the box from blue to red. And then down here, I have a button for each call. So let's see what it looks like. Um, let's open this up in our browser. So I made our everything dynamic so we can enter our server. And then right here is a box for our join call. So let's say let's join two strings. So if I hit that, there we go. There's our request and you saw it didn't take too long for our response to pop in there. And then let's test our other one. Please make me uppercase. And we click that request and response. It didn't take too long. 
Pretty awesome. So remember, we did put some error handling in there. So if I try and send an empty string, it caught that, changed this window to red, and I get my nice JSON RPC error message here. String one must be defined. So there you go. It should only take you a few minutes to write a simple Ajax call to start getting some JSON data back from your Thriftly server. Now, as I mentioned previously, I will also be doing an example uh, very similar to this using XML SOAP. So stay tuned for that one. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact any member of our team. And you can also go over to support.thriftly.io and uh, shoot us a question there on our support forums. And we should get back to you fairly quickly. So have fun, guys.